Hello, hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Carmen with Elemental Designs, and today it's Acrylic Pouring Fun Week 3. This is part of a five-week hashtag event that I am hosting along with Teresa's Creations. This hashtag event is open for everybody to participate. I will have the information down below. Today we're going to be working on uh, doing acrylic pours on CDs. And so this is going to be really, really um, kind of simple. There's really no technique that you have to specifically do. So pretty much it's just having fun, um, you know, pouring just different colors and stuff like that onto a CD surface. And so on this video, I'm going to share with you guys two of them that I did. I actually did three, but I <laughs> didn't press record on one of them. So you're only going to get two. <laughs> but I will share um, the pictures on my Instagram. So if you don't follow me, make sure you check it out at Design Elemental. Um, so yeah, this was really, really cool. Um, I really love the way that they came out overall. Um, I have one that's my favorite already from the three. But on this one, um, I pretty much kept the colors kind of simple. I only went with white as the base. The white does not have any silicone added to it. Um, then I, I mixed um, the bubblegum pink and I added a little bit of true red to it just to intensify the pink a little bit. I used gold and then I used... Um, I think it's Copenhagen blue is the color that I used. If it's not Copenhagen blue, then it's um, peacock teal. It's one of those two because those are the two blues that I was playing with that day. Um, <clears throat> and so initially, I just started to kind of do kind of like a straight pour and just um, added color and top of color and top of color um, right onto that white. Um, and then I kind of start playing with the design a little bit and just start having fun. I was kind of getting myself warmed up, if you will. And uh, those of you that know me know that I love playing with paint. Um, I love creating with paint, doing all kinds of things with paint. So definitely um, was having a lot of fun and trying something new. So I was trying to go for like this little butterfly effect. Um, that's more or less what I was trying to do. If not a butterfly, then some kind of a flower. But um, as with everything else, I get carried away. <laughs> and I start um, expanding the wings to the point that there are no more wings. Now it's just one full circle. Uh, but overall, I still think that it came out um, pretty cool, I guess. Um, I end up kind of making a more simplified kind of version. So this is just me kind of having fun. So you're definitely going to see it kind of evolve. Um, you know, it kind of starts off one way. So I really overworked um uh, <clears throat> this CD per se, I, I'm going to say that I overworked it. I, the other one that you're going to see afterwards is a lot simpler and a lot quickly, uh, more quickly done, I should say. It was more quickly done. Um, this one, I was just, you know, I was just having fun um, and just playing with the rainbow, if you will. Um, and just trying to see like different effects. Every time that I do these kinds of um, pours um, or work on different surfaces, I always end up playing with the paint just for a little while just to see, you know, different effects, different things that kind of emerge. Because um, you never really know what, you know, how it's going to come out at the end. And this one didn't really produce, um, well, it did produce some cells, but I kind of wiped them all away. Um, as I went through kind of like the whole process of just playing with it. Uh, and I'm using a spoon, as you guys can see, that's a, a disposable spoon. I bought a little pack of disposable spoons just to play around with the textures and just do different kinds of effects and stuff like that. And so that's more or less what you guys are going to see on this one. Just a little bit of playing around. And I had a lot of fun with them. I think that you can do a lot of really, really cool things with these kinds of CDs because um, the surface is a little bit smaller. Um, I do have another share that I'm going to share with you guys. And it's I, I did a pour on a record. I'm super excited about that one. That one I loved. I did it all the same day. I think it was yesterday, Tuesday that I did uh, Tuesday that I did them, and um, yeah, I can't do the live uh, process of what I'm doing it because everything is happening at the house at once. So I kind of have to come back in and do a voiceover for these. <clears throat> but it's really, really simple. All I did was mix um, the paint one to one and a half of the pouring medium, and then to the three main colors that I use not counting the white. I didn't put any silicone in the white. Then I just put about one squirt or two squirts of the um, coconut milk hair serum, which is the silicone type that I am using right now. 
And once this whole hashtag event is over, then I will come back and do uh, kind of like an overview of some of the silicone types that I have that uh, might be accessible to you or might be easy for you to find. And we'll do kind of like a comparison, um, you know, and see just how the different silicones kind of produce different effects. Because, you know, everybody likes things a little bit different. Some people like, you know, big cells. Some like small cells. Some people don't like cells. Some people like a mix. <laughs> so it all kind of depends. So as you guys can see, I'm getting close to um, the ending of this part of the video. And um, I just end up kind of streaking it all out. Just kind of streaking it all out. And I, like I said, I did get really, really tiny cells. But the more that you move it, the more that you work it, um, the more that you break down the silicone, the more that you break down the cells, um, to the point that if you overwork it too much, then you end up having no cells. So after I did all of that, I kind of did like this little combo where I used a little bit of the napkin technique that we showed you guys last Thursday. And I just um, tore off a whole bunch of little pieces and just kind of went over it with little tiny pieces of the napkin. Um, and again, reintroduced some of that blue. Um, and that blue does have silicone on it. So... I did reintroduce some of that blue on it and uh, just kind of streaked it all the way across just to see if I can get like different effects and stuff like that. Sometimes it gives you really, really cool effects. Sometimes it doesn't. And I just like to work. I just like to work it. I just like to play with it. Um, I like seeing how the little things kind of pop up right before my eyes. Even though with acrylic pour, nothing is, you know, everything is subject to change. Things don't always remain as you would want them to. Um, <clears throat> you might catch a moment where you're like, oh my God, I love this so much. And then it just shifts <laughs> and you lose it all. Um, so you have to be really, really careful when you're working uh, with this kind of process. So I kind of started liking what I was seeing on the top. It reminded me kind of like a, of a planet. So that's kind of what the city ended up looking like. Um, it ended up looking like a planet with different color bands just kind of going across, going across it. Um, kind of like in a wavy type of form. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I think I'm coming down with some kind of a cold. So I do apologize if I sound crazy. <laughs> it's not my intention. Um, I'm a little nasally <laughs> right now, but um, hopefully it's good enough. So I reintroduced just a little bit of gold here and there. And again, um, add a little bit more of that swipe technique just to kind of, um, you know, add some more of that gold in there. And overall, like I said, I really do like how it came out. It's a little bit different, but um, it's perfectly cool. Every now and then I did use the torch, although I have to say I have to refuel it because uh, by the time that I was done with the album, <laughs> I'm all out of gas, <laughs> literally. <laughs> so I have to refuel it so that I can use it for next week's, um, next week. Next week is going to be really, really cool. I'm really excited about next week, you guys. Um, really, really, really excited about it. So hopefully you guys will tune in for that one as well. This, uh, this whole thing that we're doing, this whole five-week thing that we're doing, it's part to introduce um, the techniques, but it's also part to kind of motivate you and, um, you know, get you excited about something new, trying something new, something that doesn't really require you to have any ability to draw or sketch or, you know, it's more free, it's more um, kind of like, you know, the, the, the heat of the moment, excitement of what's going to happen, how it can turn out, so it's more... You know, it's a little bit more freeing in that way. So now we're going to do the next one. And this one I really, really liked because um, I decided, you know what, I played so much with the first one. I'm not going to do that with the second one. I'm just going to let it be. And I have to say, I really did like the way that it came out. And just to let you guys know, I did um, put tape under the CD so that I can cover the hole so that the paint doesn't go through it. Um, so I mixed my colors. I used the same colors um, for all three of the CDs. And they all look very different but all super cool. And I am going to do some kind of a DIY with them uh, a little later on. And when I do the giveaway, if I end up choosing to give this away, then I'll end up giving away something that I've created with them so that you'll have like a whole, you know, a whole kind of uh, wall hanging or something that you can, you know, decorate something with. <laughs> so I really like the way that this one came out. The cells came out really, really cool. Um, and like I said, I didn't play with it. I didn't mess with it. I just kind of did it and let it go. So I hope that you guys um, enjoyed watching this process. I'll definitely go and check out Teresa. We also have um, Donna's Crafts and More with Donna Jackson, who's also going to be doing her um, her pours. 
definitely go and show these ladies some YouTube love. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. I have more than this happening on my channel, but this is definitely one of the fun parts. Um,